Alrighty here. This is what we got. <laughs> We're getting there. 1998 Ford Ranger. Passenger side wheel arch repair. Grind time. That's where we're at. Where it's called the grind time. And for you guys wondering what I use for a, a cutting wheel or cutoff wheel, four and a half inch diameter, Warrior brand, three sixty fourths inch, uh, thick. Yeah, yeah, three three sixty four inch thick. So the reason why three sixty four inch is the thinnest cutoff wheel I can get that I could uh, not have big grooves and, and uh, when I'm cutting in and butt cutting and butting uh, yeah what do you call it butting and cutting cutting and butting the panel in and less to fill and uh, also information it's a Hercules you can't see it type 27 uh, grinding wheel this is pretty spent so uh it's time to get a new one. But anyway, on to that. It's time to grind. Where, and when it comes to my lack of welding prowess, I can definitely grind. And that's what I'm gonna do. Grind this down. You guys see some sparks flying, and uh, then pretty much Bondo Prime and paint.
What do we got here? 14 minutes of fun. Alright. So, that's pretty much what I got. What I'll be doing now, I like this contour line coming through here. You probably can't see it, but it's there. I was able to maintain it somewhat coming up through here. Uh, when I put the bondo on, I'm gonna have to tape. I'm gonna tape off here so I can keep the line pronounced. At least that's the plan, right? And this panel does curve this way. And I was able to get the curve as it curves in because like I said it cur it curves up and then curves down and then goes in so there's a definitely low area right up in here which is fine I'm good with that and there's a low area here so I will I can keep welding I mean I can keep removing this material to bring it down lower which I'll probably do that so it's flanged this way yeah and then I will obviously I'm gonna have to bondo fill to make this whole thing smooth um, when it before the paint but the patch is there it ain't gonna fall off it ain't gonna rust away and I can touch it up with more welds and and so on so anyway that's what we got. I will give you a close up. If you can see, that's what it's looking like over the top. Where I'm going to have to smooth that down. Yeah. still on the tripod and right down there you can see that this is for myself you can see that line coming up through here which is what I wanted there and then you got another line going here so the bonder will bring that out. Okay. I'll have to add up all the minutes on the camera to see how much uh, I capture. And then there obviously there is work I'm doing off camera as well. But, uh, but hey, not too shabby for a do-it-yourself here at Ablecraft. I'm having some fun. Hope you guys have fun with your projects too. Uh, like I always like to say, uh, think, reason, learn, and do. As my, as our old good friend Yoda would say, do or do not. There is no try. Just do. So, let's just keep doing. Let's keep, uh, and if I can do it, you guys can do it better. All right. Take care. See you on the next one.